We're with Teresa from Nine Lives Twine. And what exactly are you doing? <laughs> I'm actually, I'm spinning cat hair into yarn. Oh, wow. So this is Moses, who is a 10-year-old black cat from mm -hmm. Eastern Vermont. And his owner's been saving brushings for nine and a half years. Oh, my. So this is nine and a half years worth of Moses brushings, believe it or not. It's, it's a short-haired kitty. Um, and she's going to make a hat for herself and a hat for Moses. Very so cute. She's a knitter. Yes. Um, I can make anything also custom. A lot of hats and for scarves, uh, mittens, cats stuffed animals, the whatever the customer wants. I can place. make anything custom. And then I do a lot of felting too. So I do portraits and meow morials, which are needle felted replicas of kitty cats and I can encase oh. ashes in those for oh, very you know, nice. if your kitty passed away. So how do you prepare the fur before? So when I receive the fur, it's just important that it's not matted. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're saving your hair for something like this, save it in cardboard or a paper bag, not plastic. Plastic tends to just mat hair, cat hair. Uh, so usually I get it, it's like this. These are just brushings mm -hmm. and they get a little bit compacted as they're saved. Um, but I have to open up the fibers and I want it to be as, as fluffy as I can get it. It's almost like a, like a cotton cloud is what I'm going for. So I'm basically just aligning the hair, separating it out, um, and creating more loft in it. Mm -hmm. Because the loftier the hair, uh, the better it'll spin 